Okay, so, um, making nanoparticles. I think I've done this before, but there's actually a progression on it, so it's actually relatively interesting. And um, what I've got here is um, green tea. It's just a, a nice um, cup of hot green tea. And you can make iron nanoparticles relatively easily just by adding uh, a metal salt into the green tea. And the porphyrins in the green tea um, reduce the um, metal salt and form a capping agent around it and help it to um, stay as a metal. So in order to form iron nanoparticles, what you need is some kind of iron salt precursor. Now I'm going to use iron 3 chloride, um, only because I've got iron 3 chloride. Uh, you can use iron sulfate and, and I assume iron 2 chloride as well. So there's lots of different things that you can use. And um, what you do is just get a little bit and stick it in your green tea. It's fizzing because it's um, anhydrous iron 3 chloride and that has a strong reaction with water. But you can see what's happened there. Now, iron, two, iron 3 chloride, when added to water, gives a bright red solution. And this one is black. And the reason this one is black is um, the tea has almost immediately reduced the iron salt to zero valent iron. So what's in there is um, tea surrounded, um, zero valent iron nanoparticles. Now, that's very interesting and um, quite a nice little solution, but actually relatively useless because um, you can't do anything with it. The iron in there is um, so dispersed, nothing's going to happen. So if I hold a magnet there, then um, you can't see anything, nothing's happening with the iron. So the iron nanoparticles are in there, it's just a problem of how to get them out. And um, I was thinking about that problem. Now, if you reduce that, just evaporate it away, what you'll get is a thick black tarry substance, because that thick black tarry substance is the iron nanoparticles coated with the tea, making a tar. And it's as equally useless. This is really very little you can do with it. It's quite sticky. Um, so what it uh, occurred to me to do was to try to hydrothermally carbonise it so that we would end up with um, carbon capped um, iron nanoparticles that should come out of solution, uh, be very stable in air and um, allow us to manipulate it magnetically. So um, if you've seen other videos on hydrothermal carbonisation, you've seen me using this thing. This thing is a three pipe fittings that I bought at the local plumber's store uh, and it's iron, it's zinc coated iron. Um, it's about a 50 milliliter capacity. What I do is wrap that with PTFE tape, bolt one end down really tightly and then pour my tea solution into there, put PTFE tape on there and then screw the whole thing together tightly. Now you need to fill that not to quite the top, about four fifths full. You can leave a little bit of air in it. And screw that whole thing down. Once you've screwed that whole thing down, um, you can heat that and it will get a build-up of pressure uh, and a build-up of temperature. Now, I've been using this thing to do hydrothermal carbonisation experiments for um, weeks now, and it's actually doing a really quite a good job. So, I wouldn't really worry too much about the pressure build-up. Those things are um, rated to a pressure greater than the pressure you're going to get just by heating that. So once I'd made up the tea solution, what I did was stick it on the radiator for about four weeks and it went thick and black like that. So that's a reduced tea iron nanoparticle solution. And that's what I poured into my autoclave. So I, <coughs> I poured that into my um, pipe bits, bolted it down and I put it in the oven at 180 degrees for um, 10 hours. And what I got out of it was this. Now, that's um, a suspended iron nanoparticle solution, and there's some iron nanoparticles at the bottom there. Now, it's obviously very sunny here, so we can't really see very well, so we're going to take this one inside, and I'm going to show you what happens to it inside. So I've taken this inside and poured it into this little test tube, and there is my mixture of iron nanoparticles coated in carbon and suspended in water. So, watch this. And there you go, the arm collects quite rapidly around the magnet. And if I take the magnet away, they'll really disperse. 
and put the magnet back on and there you can see them coming out of solution and collecting around that field. So there we go. Carbon coated, air stable and nanoparticles from hydrothermal carbonisation. Now I think lots of people will be interested in this because there's lots of really interesting things you can do with particles like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.